Hello everyone, today I have a fun summer fashion haul to share with you. I actually also have a lot of beauty products in here as well. I can't wait to share all of this with you and I'll try to be as quick as possible. But first, let's start with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I bought this because a lot of you kept asking me what I thought about it and I had to go to Sephora and choose which shade I wanted to try. I picked Diffuse Light because I can use this one all over my face as a setting powder. But I do think it's worth the money and it doesn't give me a dewy look. It just gives me a matte look that's not flat. Now I did post a photo of this neutral NARS eyeshadow palette on my Instagram, which is Rayview, and this is the God Created The Woman eyeshadow palette. It's full of neutrals that are completely wearable and universally flattering. I love the number three eyeshadow brush that came with the palette. It reminds me of very expensive Shimura Kalinsky brushes, which I really like. So this is a great bargain for this palette, especially because this is a great one to travel with, just because there's a lot of variety. Now it does come with a mini Pro Prime smudge proof eyeshadow base, which is the best eyeshadow base for oily lids. Also from Sephora, I picked up this Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. But this actually isn't for sensitive skins, and they say that with a reason, because even though I've only been using this once a day in the mornings, uh, it has been drying out my skin a little bit. So it's best for those with probably normal, not sensitive, or oily, not sensitive skin. For those of you who have watched my videos for a long time, you guys know I love the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads. So I really wanted to try this because it has a similar scent, just a little bit more subtle. So it's more tolerable to most noses probably, but I can't smell really well, so I like strong scents. It's just that as much as I love this cleansing gel, I'm probably only going to be able to use it a couple times a week just because my skin is sensitive. And regardless, I'm still going to keep using it just because I think it's a great cleanser. Now before we move into the fashion and accessories, I wanted to share with you some of the products that I purchased from Nordstrom. You can also get this from Sephora, but I picked up the Clarisonic Acne Cleansing Brush Head. I've tried the original and the sensitive, original which is black and the sensitive which is blue, but the acne cleansing one has green and I hope that this one will be more effective in clearing up my acne. My skin looks a lot better, it's been responding well. I have been using a new treatment which I did purchase from Sephora but I didn't want to show it in here just because it has been working well for me so I'm going to show it in my favorites video. I didn't want to do a double feature. But I am really excited to try this new brush head so I'll let you guys know how it goes and now for a MAC product I know it's been so long since I purchased anything from MAC but I really liked the look of this Royal Sense Royal Sunset excuse me powder blush it's a satin finish and I do really like it it's a very peachy tone on me. I thought it would be more coral, but it does read more pink. It warms up nicely, so it looks a little bit unlike any other MAC blush that I own. I do recommend it. It, again, is called Royal Sunset, and it is a limited edition, so pick it up soon. Now for a summer essential in my makeup bag. I love the Shiseido Sun Protection Compact Foundation, and this is a powder foundation that has an SPF of 36, which is why I tend to carry it with me every day during the summer. You want to reapply sunscreen often, about every hour to every two hours, but when I'm on the go, it's much easier to apply a powder, and so the Shiseido one is my favorite. I don't use Shiseido sunscreen anymore. Shiseido sunscreen is very affordable yet effective, which is why I do recommend it if you're on more of a budget, but if you can splurge on the Kate Somerville or the Dior if you have very oily skin, but I have noticed that a lot of you with really oily skin, don't like the tacky texture of the Dior sunscreen. So in that case, then you can try the Kate Somerville as well. It's her newest sunscreen, and I highly recommend it. I've written a full post on my blog if you wanted to see the full review. But anyway, moving back into the Shiseido powder, I picked it up again earlier than I normally would have because there is a new limited edition case. So you have to buy the foundation compact and the case separately. So that's what Shiseido does. And it kind of sucks you in, but the case is only $8, so you know what? I thought it was worth it. I really liked this design. Shiseido doesn't do this sort of limited edition thing often, so I really loved it, and I like how bright it is because then it's easier to spot when it's in your bag, and if you have a big beach bag, you know, bright yellow tends to stand out. And in the summer, I use the color SP30. 
And now for some accessories, swimsuits, and clothing. My friend Evelina of Evelina Berry, so I'm sure you guys watch her on YouTube, created her own jewelry line called Mint Berry. And I believe this one's called the Mojito Berry, but this is her signature style. And I really love all the little rhinestone accents, the engraved logo, all these little details really appeal to me. And of course, I'm a sucker for anything mint, so I'm going to show you all my mint stuff in a second. But I really love this mint bracelet. So definitely check out her line, Mint Berry Jewelry. And as I've promised, more mint. So I've had this swimsuit top for a while. It is by Patagonia. I bought it last year. And as you can see, it's purple with some cool mint color blocking. I really liked how it was more of a sporty swimsuit. It has a crossover back really strappy, kind of like the OP look that, that was popular in the 90s. But I found these awesome corduroy shorts on dailylook.com and I just really love how they are not too short. They have four full-size pockets and I'm a sucker for pockets because whenever possible I try not to carry a bag. I really am very minimalistic and I don't carry much. But I really love these because they're comfortable, they're a size small, they fit me and they match so well with this swimsuit top. So when I'm by the pool or something and I I feel the need to cover up but I don't want to use a towel shorts are the way to go now I wore this cardigan it's a mint star white star printed cardigan with a white theory sundress which is super old but I paired that dress with this cardigan and so many of you loved it so this is a size small but I really like cardigans that cover my bum I like long cardigan and to top it off this one doesn't have pockets I feel like long cardigans with pockets tend to make you look extra heavy and extra wide around the hips and thighs but since this one falls straight down it kind of gives you an elongated look plus again I love anything mint and I do recommend that you pick it up before it is gone now for the swimsuits I love the swimsuit brand lolly they're famous for their big bows and I found a mint swimsuit on misskl.com which most of you probably know by now is the sister brand of karma loop and I love lolly swimwear because they're extra small fits me perfectly so I love this bow it is a tie-dye color but the swimsuit itself is a mint green so come on how can you not love this you might not like the color of the bow but the swimsuit's mint green also because I'm really small up top I generally don't wear really simple plain thin triangle tops but it has a big bow so it gives more of an accent to the top to your upper body you know so it kind of balances everything out and the extra small isn't too little coverage sometimes triangle bikinis can feel a little too you know revealing but this one even though it's an extra small it's still a great Great size and the thing I love about this lolly bottom here is that it's a regular bikini I bought one of the original lolly bandeau bottoms the ones that look like boy shorts and they're really cheeky I love mine I have a pink one with a black bow and my best friend Tammy introduced me to the brand when it first launched a couple years ago it is cut to be a little bit more revealing than you know your traditional full granny panty bottom but it's not too much cheek so as much as I love the traditional lolly you know cheeky look I feel like this one is a lot easier to wear and here is the last swimsuit piece I have a lot of dark simple black swimsuits but I always wanted to wear a bandeau I just felt like they were always going to fall off you know because there's not much here to support <laughs> the bandeau top but I liked the simple ruffles on this one and it doesn't connect all the way into the back you tie a little bow here and so there is some skin that shows the ruffles just kind of wrap around you and it is a super cute bikini top I personally think that this is one of the cutest black and white bikini tops that I've seen in a while I just think I like the simplicity of it so if you are like me and you just wanted a fun bikini top you can pair this with any black bottom so the versatility makes me love it that much more I personally am going to pair it with just a simple string bikini bottom because after all since there are string ties in the back it looks more cohesive so if you're not going to wear a lolly bottom just to use a simple string bikini simple is simple is good guys and last but not least I know everyone's probably dying to know this necklace is from House of Harlow and generally I don't tend to wear much jewelry or dress up to film my videos I'm a very casual person it's really hot when I film and I've mentioned this several times before you know by the end of any filming session usually I'm pretty sweaty <laughs> but that is the reason why I'm generally in a tank top and today I just wanted to pair this plain tank top this is from daily look I love this braided look I've paired it with my House of Harlow resin 
resin necklace so this is not the leather station a lot of you guys have the leather and that's the traditional look but I wanted to go with something a little bit more modern because I did get in other leather pieces so I wanted to you know add variety and I really like the high gloss finish with the gold contrast so I hope you guys like it as much as I do and for those of you who have been looking for the resin piece apparently it's hard to find I had no idea but this house of Harlow necklace is available currently on hollerdeals.com so that's where you can find it I also have these white stingray earrings and I love these large studs because I find earrings like this are really the simplest to wear they're a bold statement piece without attracting too much attention obviously this necklace is a big statement piece but if you wear earrings like this you know minus minus the necklace it's really an easy way to add dimension to your face and your outfit without attracting again too much attention I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It had a little bit of everything for this summer. So if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to watch my last video for the natural, long-lasting matte foundation routine. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!